20 inch walleye. There you go. Now you can catch them too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Woo! Hello, I'm Sea Rod. You're watching Sea Rod Fishing. Today it is Monday, January 18, around 9 a.m. And I am about to do some really good walleye fishing at a spot I recently discovered pretty much under the Champlain Bridge. You probably recognize this bridge right here. That is the Champlain Bridge. And underneath it, you can see over there, there's a little bit of ice beginning to form on the St. Lawrence Seaway. This big dugout area that they send cargo ships through. So it's really, really deep, very interesting structure. And I've discovered this place recently. And it's pretty much the Park Dieppe of ice fishing. Very close to Montreal. So I want to share this spot with you guys. I encourage you to come here, come catch some walleye. So there's free parking out here at Boulevard Simar. And very accessible place. You just gotta haul your gear 500 meters to the ice. Here I am. I'm gonna set up on 18 feet, 19 to 18 feet, right next to a drop off that goes to 60 over there. Right here, 18 feet. A few steps over this way. Thirty-seven feet. So that's a prime example of what a drop-off is. It's like an underwater cliff. So that is really, really steep. And up here, where my aqua view and my rod are, is this little shelf on top of the drop-off with some vegetation in this far corner near the rocks and it averages about 15 feet of water and that's where I've been having a lot of success lately although I find in 30 feet towards the middle over there is also a good spot. I make these videos because I want to promote mental health and environmental awareness. I really believe that getting outside and fishing is very good for your mind and it's also in turn good for the environment. If we're getting food from the St. Lawrence we're going to care about cleaning it up and not polluting it. So please enjoy this video and enjoy fishing responsibly and safely. We are right on top of the cliff at the drop off. You can see my jig right there and set up with the aqua view. It's time to make a few more holes, set up completely. Set up, I'm on the spot and I'm ready to start fishing. And I think the walleye are gonna start biting behind me. I have the sonar, I have the aqua view in the water, I have a heater, I can see my breath still because it's a very cold day and the heater isn't doing much. It's doing a little something. God damn, this is sketchy looking. Oh, it's pretty safe ice. Yeah? Four inches, yeah. I'll pass my camera and put on it. Okay, Merry Christmas. I thought you were here uh, yesterday. I was here yesterday, I was here the... Uh, I've been here four days in a row now. Okay, but when you... Oh, no. But when you caught the seven uh, walleye... It was like two days ago. Two days ago, right here. Yeah. My brother showed up. It's 12.30. Haven't marked a single fish. Haven't seen a single fish. So, we're going to go out on an adventure. Yeah, we got a mark. Marking a fish. Got him! Fish on! Fish on! Fish on! What's wrong with my reel? What's wrong with my reel? Oh my god, and the hook just popped out of his hand. Oh, it's because I, I switched the back here. What the hell? No, my reel is just all messed up right now. Man, that was a freaking lucky landing. All right, finally, we got a fish, keeper. Probably 14 and a half inches, just, just big enough to measure up just in case. 14 and a half? Yeah, 14.75 actually. What's the uh, keeping length and inches again? 14 and a half. David's got a photogenic fish on the aqua view here. He's just chilling, eh? He's just looking.
This right here is very typical behavior for walleye in this area. They're really cautious or sluggish, or I don't know what it is, but they really like staring at your bait. Like you'll mark them too, and you'll see them, and they'll look at you, they'll follow you a little bit, and they often swim away. Like this guy, he just swam away eventually. Okay, marking a fish. Playing with something down there. Come back here. Here he comes. Fish on! Oh! Why does my rod keep doing this? My rod keeps bumming out on me. Alright. Another keeper! Woo! Wow, look what is going on with my reel here. That is all kinds of messed up. That's really bad. Give me a lot of problems. Okay, so I fixed that tangle. But now I do not know like, what is this? I don't I don't even know how to describe this problem. I don't even know how to describe this problem. I'm gonna try to look it up and if not I'm just gonna ask YouTube. Oh well now it's working. I'm gonna steal the sonar and poke around the other holes. Sorry, man. Yeah, I'm like 13 feet here. Got a wild mark on me. No way. Yeah. Already. Yeah. Oh. No way. Yeah, he got off. That he stole while I'm aware of Oh yeah, there we go. Hey. <laughs> That's another keeper too. Well, I mean, two of these three guys are going to you, so you shouldn't be jealous. Let's see if he's long enough. Yep, another keeper. Well, there's another mark here if you want to play with him. Yeah. I might catch him before you though. No promises. He's sitting right off the bottom. I'm going to switch my germ. I'm catching these walleye on a 3 eighths of an ounce green jig. I'm using half of a worm. I'm just going to slide him along the hook here. This little barb here is meant for holding the worm on the hook. And there we go. It's extra bloody, extra dirty. This is the way to enjoy winter right here. Uh, the city's right there, 20 minutes from my house. It's an incredible spot. We moved 8 feet. And already marking a fish below us. Okay, he's gone. Move another few feet. Okay, he's coming off the bottom. He's chasing me off the bottom. This guy's never come too high. They'll go up like a foot max. And there's two of them down there. Come on, there's got to be some competition, guys. There's two of you down there, hard none of you biting. Not sure if I was recording five minutes ago when I caught a 14 inch walleye. If it wasn't, I'm sorry. But we are at four fish under the Champlain Bridge. Alright, well the action has died here and it's getting dark. And I find the walleye don't really bite in this spot past dark. So me and David are going to be getting out of here pretty soon. And the last little bit of light, it's a good opportunity for me to say thanks for watching this video. Come fish under the Champlain Bridge. There's a lot of walleye here. And I'll see you in the next video. I just did that outro two minutes ago and then I catch this big old perch.
and I like perch, so I'm keeping that guy. It's 5.15 and me and David were about to pack up and I got one nice last little kiss goodbye from super tiny cute little walleye. Me and David both want him to grow up, be a big strong walleye, so maybe he wants to eat this worm. Do you want to eat the worm, buddy? He took it. <laughs> nice. <laughs>